Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about sorting arrays and reversing arrays. Now if you remember in the last tutorial, we talked about creating an array and using a normal for loop to add that array to a list box. Now in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start off by creating two new buttons. So we will add button 1 and button 2. Then we can go ahead and close out of our toolbox. We'll make these buttons a little bit bigger so they'll fit into our program. And we will set the name of button 1 to button sort array. And we will set the name of button 2 to button reverse. So now what we're going to do is we are going to come down here and set the text to sort array and then for this one we'll type reverse array so we'll go ahead and create events for each one of these and under sort what we're going to do is we're going to clear the list just in case there's anything already up there and then what we're going to do is we are going to sort our array so let's go ahead and we will take this right here we will press control X to cut it and now what we need to do is make it accessible by all of the subs inside of this class so we will just paste it right there and instead of using dim we will type private so now this array can be accessed inside of button sort array so now what we're going to do is we're going to type array dot and you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can use so what we're going to do is we're going to choose sort now it says source the elements in an entire one dimensional array system dot array using the system dot i comparable implementation of each element of the system array so basically what this does is it sorts it alphabetically so we will just sort string classes and now we will come up here and here is our for loop that adds every item to the list box so we'll just copy that and paste it down here now if you didn't watch the last tutorial basically what this does is we got a for loop we have a value num as integer and as integer is not needed because the default for for loops is integer and it's equal to zero and it goes to string classes dot length minus one and since the length is six and it only goes from zero to five we would get an out of bounds error if we did that. So what we do is we take minus one. So it goes zero to five and it still covers all six of those. And then we do list arrays dot items dot add string classes at the index of num. So it starts at one and then goes all the way to five. So now we can do the same thing for this, but instead of sorting the array, we can reverse it. So we can type array dot reverse and now what we're going to do is we're going to do string classes. And so if we go ahead and take this for loop again, copy it and paste it, you can see that it will print everything out. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is that when you do this, if you click this button, it's going to sort the array and it's not going to go back to the way it used to be. And when this one reverses it, it's not going to go back to the way it used to be. So if we go ahead and click Add Array Elements, we've got all of our array elements. Now if we reverse the array, we get Web Design, Spanish, Chemistry, English, History. And now if we click it one more time, it sets it back to normal. And now if we sort the array, it gives it to us in alphabetical order. So we've got C, A, C, H, we've got E, H, S, and W. And now if we reverse it, we get web design, Spanish, history, English, chemistry, and calculus, which is a reverse alphabetical order. And now if we click add array elements, what this does is it resets all the values of add array elements by assigning them, and it changes it back to the way it used to be. Now, this is a pretty simple tutorial um, teaching you how to sort and reverse arrays. Now, what you can also do is just play around with this and type array dot and look at each one of these and read the description and see what you can do with that 
And then um, once you feel satisfied with what you've learned and you know you're not going to forget what I've taught you in this, maybe you've learned something new from doing it yourself, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching.